Well, we've analyzed Joe Biden's verbal language related to his classified document scandal over the past week, but we thought it would be interesting to break down what his body language is telling us. So here with analysis is behavior and body language expert, as well as former U.S. Army interrogator Greg Hartley. Greg, welcome to the program. So glad to have you here tonight. Uh, this is such a fascinating uh, analysis here. And I want to jump right into this uh, with our first clip. Uh, we have Biden last week in Mexico City uh, initially responding to classified documents being discussed discovered at the Penn Biden Center watch. I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. But I don't know what's in the documents. I've, my lawyers have not suggested I ask what documents they were. I've turned over the boxes. They've turned over the boxes to the archives and we're cooperating fully, cooperating fully with the review and which I hope will be finished soon. Okay, Greg, so what's his body language telling you there? I mean, he, he kind of reaches up, scratches his head, but he says he's surprised, he, he doesn't know. Um, d does his body language tell you that he's telling the truth? What are you gathering from watching this? Well, all these guys who've been in this business forever have a lot of subroutines. Think of a roach when the lights come on, things happen, right? Their feet start to scurry. What he does is he'll pick his hands up and do this when he's on mission, when he's on some topic. What I think he is doing is he starts off like a really bad coal reading from a high school play and then suddenly realizes the intent behind what they've given him is to go and to give those details like it's a story. He reaches up and adapts. That piece of body language is releasing nervous energy. I think he realizes he can actually start to talk instead of reading. That's what I think we're seeing. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Any any thoughts on on truth telling here, or is that? <laughs> Look, I think he's on. I think he's been told stick to the notes, and that's the reason he starts to mm. read the notes like it's a story instead of telling you what's going on. I think he has had counsel that said if you go off script, very much you're going to be in real trouble. So I think. Yeah, and he's told us he's that before. Reading. That's a good point. <laughs> he says, "I'm yeah. not supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do that." Um, moving along here, let's go to Biden. Last Thursday, this was when he was confronted over the second batch of documents that were discovered in his Wilmington, Delaware, uh, home's garage, right next to that beloved Corvette. Love this one. Classified material next to your Corvette. What were you thinking? Let me. Uh, look, I'm going to get a chance to speak on all this, God willing, soon. But as I said earlier this week. People, and by the way, my Corvette's in a locked garage, okay? So it's not like you're sitting out in the street. So the but anyway. It was in a locked garage. Yes, as well as my Corvette. Um, but as I said earlier this week, people know I take classified documents and classified material seriously. Hey, Greg, I think Biden owns a Corvette <laughs> and he wants us to know that he owns a Corvette. Um, what are you seeing in this yeah. clip? Well, it's really interesting because he starts off, you hear that inhale breath, he starts to say something and then remembers, oh yeah, I have notes and I'm supposed to follow those notes. And if you watch him, he puts his hands up, again, one of those scripted things, you can tell when he puts his hands up, he's starting to be Joe Biden, the politician, mm -hmm. but then he can't let it go. So he has to tell us again, my Corvette. When he does that, you watch his mouth get kind of stern and smug and him look under his brow. He's being sarcastic. And I think he thinks he scored a point there by doing that. And I love the fact the guy goes back <laughs> at him because unless his Corvette is a GSA approved security container, he's violating the law right off. Doesn't matter. Yeah. So, yeah. Such a great, such such a great point you make there. And, and boy, does he need to score a lot of points uh, because he's he's way behind right now. Um, Greg, let's mix things up a little bit and, and move over to his press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, uh, who's got quite the workload uh, having to answer questions about all of this. And she, of course, spent the last week attempting to defend uh, her flailing boss. Watch some of the highlights here. I'm not going to get into details. I'm not going to get beyond what the president shared yesterday. He laid out what he knew, when he knew it. I'm just not going to get into hypotheticals. I wouldn't go into uh, down into a rabbit hole on this. This is something that he takes very seriously, uh, the president, when it comes to classified documents, when it comes to classified information. I'm not going to go into any specifics from here. I'm really curious to get your take on this, Greg, because when I watch her, I feel like so many times when she's responding to someone, it's almost like she's trying to convince herself that, that what she's saying is the truth and trying to sell herself on it at the same time. Uh, what are you gathering from watching uh, the press secretary? Let me give you two or three things. One that's really powerful, when people feel confident, their fingers spread. 
when people feel not confident, their fingers will lock down. So you see that versus this. Watch her. She illustrates, meaning punctuates her thoughts with her right hand in all videos but the last one where she's talking specifically about details and about the president's valuing classified information. Then her fingers go together. Something's up. Something is different when she's asked to go to task and actually start to deliver something she may or may not believe in. You also, if you'll watch her when she does that, her body shrinks. She turtles, as we'd refer to it, by shrinking the target, pulling her head down inside her body. And her blink rate, if you watch the end of this video, goes through the roof. Something's up right there. My ah. guess is there's a lot of scrutiny and a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes about what to say and what not to say. Very fascinating. Greg Hartley, we'll have to bring you back here soon. And I just want to okay. point out for our viewers as well, uh, if folks enjoyed your analysis, they can find all of your great work at readbodylanguage.com. Uh, again, behavior and body language expert Greg Hartley. Great having you here tonight. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Jen. Hey guys, it's Rob Carson. Your retirement funds are being threatened with even more losses from record inflation, recession, and skyrocketing interest rates. Fortunately, the highly trained specialists at American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. If you call them right now, it's a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order, so don't wait. Call 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309 or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532.